Hi, you're here with Tristan, field application engineer here at NewTek. Today we're going to talk about our OFDM QAM64 reference design and how you can get started with it within 10 minutes on our new Pico SDR. So here I am in the MATLAB environment, I click on help demos, scroll down at the bottom under other demos. I After I install my ADP NewTek software tool suit, I get a Perseus 601 example folder. Perseus 601 is the FPGA-based FMC carrier board integrated into my Pico SDR uh, as a Vertex 6 FPGA. And today we're going to be looking at applicative examples, more especially our OFDM example. So if I open the demo sheet, I get a blog diagram showing what's the single path I'm going to be dealing with today. Obviously, this is a radio example, uh, more specifically a 2x2 two two MIMO radio example. So I'm going to have two radio transceivers and, um, and two radio um, receivers. And the basic single path is I start from the host computer here on the right hand side. Uh, I'm going to use our RTDEX module which resides into the FPGA. It's a real time data exchange gigabit ethernet module to transfer data from the host to the FPGA. My record and playback module is going uh, is going to receive uh, video files transferred by the host computer and store it on the Perseus board memory. Uh, the stored video is going to be played back in a loop continuously in the FPGA and sent to an OFDM encoder that's going to feed the two radios with the encoded video stream signal. The radios are going to broadcast the video stream in the air in 2x2 two two MIMO and the receivers are going to send the receive signal to the OFDM QAM64 decoder which is going to stream back the received video through RTDEX again to the host computer for visualization. So if I click on open this model, that will bring up the Simulink environment in which our ADP software tool suit is integrated. If I zoom back a bit to give you an idea of the complexity of the system, here in a few minutes I'm able to get an implementation of OFDM QAM64 algorithm without writing a single line of HDL code. Basically all I'm doing is connecting blocks together within the Simulink environment. So if I zoom back in a bit to see what we're dealing with, we have three colors of blocks, white blocks, which are Simulink blocks only used in simulation for uh, signals and scopes to test your algorithm. I have blue blocks that are Xilinx system generator blocks. They, in simulation, uh, act as a uh, cycle through um, implementation of digital single processing algorithms. So basically, in simulation, I can test each of these blocks and I can test my application uh, by exciting them with signals um, generated by the Simulink blocks and monitor their output on the scope. And whenever I modify this OFDM QAM64 reference design, for instance, I'm going to validate my modifications in uh, simulation before I generate my bitstream. And you have green blocks, those uh, are new tech blocks, and they will also contribute to the bitstream generation, but more precisely manage the interaction between the FPGA and different interfaces on the Perseus board such as Ethernet interface, memory interface, and radio interface. So if I try to browse to this exam through this example to see where my single path is again, here I'm starting from the left hand side. Uh, I have a, a host computer that's gonna send through RTDEX real time data exchange module gigabit uh, through gigabit Ethernet a video file that's going to be stored on to the board's memory using this uh, host to mem block. After that, my playback block is going to play back in a continuous loop the video file, and the video stream is going to be sent to an OFDM transmitter, and the encoded signal is going to be sent to the two radios. And now the video signal is going to be broadcasted through the air, received by the two radios, radio receiver and 2x2 two two MIMO. 
and the signal is going to be sent to the OFDM receiver. So if I open up my OFDM receiver by double clicking on it, I can see that after the signal is demodulated and decoded, I have RTDEX blocks. RTDEX block again that is going to receive the, vi the decoded video stream and send it, send it back to the computer through gigabit ethernet for vis visualization. And so obviously within this receiver I also have the implementation of the OFDM packet detection and OFDM demodulation as well. And so all of this will contribute to the bitstream generation and the bitstream is generated simply by double clicking on the system generator RedX and choosing a target FPGA, in this case is a Vertex 6 FPGA, selecting the model, the, the type of FPGA and a target directory where the bitstream is going to go. I have done all of this already um, for this quick demo and I've loaded the bitstream into the FPGA and we can move on with demonstration. So. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to browse to my new tag ADP software tools with installation folders into MATLAB examples Perseus 601, QAM 64, FDM, host and here I have a command line interface folder. Command line interface is supplied with our ADP software tools so it allows you to interact uh, manage the interaction between the host computer and the Perseus board through gigabit ethernet uh, right now I have the board up and running uh, within my Pico SDR system and the network cable is, uh, is used to connect the host computer to the Pico SDR system. And here I have a few scripts. The first script, if I look at it, first of all the scripts are shipped part of the OFDM QAM64 reference design so they're fully customizable. But what this script will do is it will in initialize, configure, and calibrate the radio. Here, for instance, it will set the transmission and reception frequency to 453 MHz for each radio, and it will calibrate each of the gain stage of, of each radio as well. And so I can run this first script to initialize, configure, and calibrate my radios. And I will run a second script to upload the video file from the host computer to the Perseus board's memory. After the video is uploaded, I'm simply going to trigger the loop back playing of the video and uh, obviously that video stream is going to be sent to the OFDM encoder and bro broadcasted through the air by the two radios. Perfect, so now my video is playing on the Perseus board FPGA and is being broadcasted in, into the air. And so I have a host side application that is going to allow me to receive the video stream sent by the FPGA through gigabit ethernet. And it's going to rebroadcast on the host side the video so I can look at it in the form of a UDP stream with a standard player such as VLC. So to reiterate over what we have done here, we have implemented within about 10 minutes uh, OFDM QAM64 algorithm using Simulink to connect blocks and system generator combined to the new attack ADP software tool, tool suit to generate a bitstream that goes onto the Perseus board's Vertex 6 FPGA. After that, we have run the demo by sending a video file from the host computer to the Perseus board memory and the FPGA have played back that file in the loop. The OFDM QAM64 algorithm has modulated the signal sent to two radios that will broadcast in 2x2 MIMO the video stream in the air, two radios to receive OFDM decoder and feed back the video stream to the host computer for visualization. All of that is part of our OFDM QAM64 reference design. Thanks for listening. This was Tristan, field application engineer here at NewTAC.